Corey Holland and Richard Burns have waited decades to speak publicly about the event that forever marked their lives. The death of their friend, Martha Moxley. She was a joy to be around. You know, how can you kill someone like that? It still gets to you. Yeah. That there was a clip from this week's all new 48 hours. Martha Moxley was murdered outside her home in Greenwich 46 years ago. Kennedy cousin Michael Skakel was eventually found guilty of killing her and spent more than 11 years behind bars. But in 2013, that conviction was overturned. So the big question, does her diary hold clues to her killer? Channel 3 chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell spoke with CBS correspondent Aaron Moriarty to see exactly what she found out. You know, you spoke with Moxley's childhood friends, some speaking for the very first time. What do they think happened? Well, you know what's really interesting, Matthew, is this case has, has devastated so many families that it still is an important case uh, 46 years later. And they do believe that it was someone in the area um, uh, they too, um, one of the reasons why we took a look at Martha Moxley's diary that she kept like so many other 15 year olds is because it talked about the people in her lives and investigators have always believed that whoever killed Martha Moxley knew her, that this was a personal murder, that, um, it was violent and it had to be someone that she knew. This is a case that has really captivated the nation, especially here in Connecticut, because this did happen, you know, on our Gold Coast. And you were in that neighborhood, though. Is this something that the people in the neighborhood are kind of just putting in the past, putting it behind them? Or is there still really an urgency to find whoever did this? That's such an interesting question. I think that if you weren't directly involved with the case, then you do want to put it behind. It uh, brought a lot of notoriety to a neighborhood that wants to be left alone, does not want to be the center of attention for a brutal murder. This is an area where crimes are very rare. But if you were directly involved, like the friends of Martha Moxley, the one thing I've really learned from covering this story was how well liked she was, how she stood out among her friends um, as somebody who was um, really a fun, uh, likable human being who just uh, embraced so many people as friends. And they find it very difficult to believe that her murder has never been solved to satisfaction. I mean, there was someone, Michael Skakel, who spent almost 12 years in prison, uh, but now that his conviction was overturned and he wasn't retried, it remains legally a mystery and an unsolved crime. And so I think for the people who knew Martha Moxley, they would like to see it solved um, and have some kind of peace. Erin Moriarty for 48 Hours, thank you very much for joining us. And just a reminder, these are interviews with Moxley's childhood friends who have never spoken out before. You can watch 48 Hours, The Diary of Martha Moxley, tomorrow night at 10, right here.